Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who comes to visit my channel. It is still March the 18th, Thursday. Oh, got a hair in my mouth. It's 9.52 a.m. now, and I'm going to read to you today's <laughs> prophetic letter from Dawn. It's really good. All right, I'm starting off with Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. When you encounter a problem that is beyond your control or not a quick fix, take a deep breath and refuse to get stressed out. Impatience will not help, so settle yourself to do nothing until there's actually something that you can do and come into my presence to find that place of peace that is available to you as you abide in me can you do that okay that's the end of it <laughs> i'm saying can you do that <laughs> we need to because the devil is working overtime with his demons to make us, as the Bible put it, to uh, make us weary, to wear out the saints. Yeah, he's trying. And so when you let yourself get stressed out because there's things going on that you can't do anything about and you may never be able to do anything about them. We just have to turn them over to him and leave them at the cross, so to speak. Metaphorically, he's not on the cross. He is in heaven waiting for us. Well, I'll leave it at that. Psalm 34, 14 was put with this. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it hi jasper my little baby's peeking up over this he wants me to play in a little bit i'll play okay you go bring your toys over here and i'll play with you yes i will yes i will if you bring your toys right there can you bring that toy basket over here <laughs> he's so cute Okay, now, this one is from Bev, was, was given to Bev Robinson. I continually beckon you, oh, by the way, these are all dated March the 18th. Yeah, this came in this morning. I still have a couple of, or did I? No, I ended up deleting them, I think. No, I have one I wanted to share from couple days ago all right i continually beckon you to come up higher you will see one day much of what i see and be amazed you have always deep down known you can trust me with anything going on inside of you at times others have given you counsel that did not line up with the matter. I have never overreacted or underreacted to anything you have told me. I look at you through eyes of favor. I love you. And that's the end of the message. But don't you know? Before you even say something to him, he already knows it. He knew it a hundred years, a thousand years ago that, that Steve down here on earth in 2021 was going to confess a sin to him that's grieving him. And now he's sorry. Look, the Lord already knew it. So you take anything bothering you to him, you're not going to surprise him. He already knew you did it. He already knew ahead of time you were going to do it. All right. Remember this. I look at you through eyes of favor. I love you. 
for those who don't love him, they're not going to be watching videos like this. Ephesians 2.8 For it is by free favor, and then it's parentheses, God's unmerited favor, close parentheses, that you are saved, parentheses, delivered from judgment and made partakers of Christ's salvation, closed parentheses, through your belief. I'm just going to read it. And this salvation is not of yourselves, of your own doing. It came not through your own striving. But it is the gift of God, Bev Robinson. Okay, let's say it the way we know it. For it is by grace, through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But verse 10 goes on to say, um... Let's pull it up because nobody ever adds that, you know, and I think that they should. So let me look up Ephesians 2.10. I'll just stick with the KJV. All right. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them them okay let's change it to what is that Bible called the I not be in here nope they don't have it on blue letter Bible so I'll go with NASB 95. I don't like the 20, 20 version. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, or to do good works, which God prepared beforehand. Yes, he set them up. Our opportunity to do good works so that we would walk in them. So the once saved, always saved group loves to leave that out. And we should not. We should always remember we are to do good works to prove. Um, it, it proves the fruit. It's the fruit. It's part of the fruit of being a Christian. All right, let's move on. This one is was given to Kevin. I sincerely hope you truly realize just how beloved you are. Can you believe that? Oh, how I genuinely love you with the length, width, breadth, and depth of my heart. You are treasured far beyond your wildest dreams. The hopes and visions I have for you are so enormous and yet simple at the same time. Wonderful thoughts of and about you never cease crossing my mind. Pass on to others the same love and compassion I have for you. 1 John 4, 7-8, King KJV, he's using. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not Okay, hold, let me start. He that loveth not knoweth not God. He, you don't know God if you can't love. You don't know God. 
for God is love. So if you know God, you're, you know, we, we're never going to know him fully. We'll know him through the word. That's why it's so important to read the word. That's how we get to know him. How many times did he threaten to harm, to do something to the Israelites because they were sinning? And back then it said, if my people who are called by my name will repent of their sins, I will uh, forgive them and heal their land. Something like that. I can't remember it word for word. Well, people are saying that now about America, but God has made it clear it's too late for us. Things are different now. Things are being done that cannot be undone. This country has become so evil. So has the whole world. But especially America. I got to go on. I could preach for an hour on that. Okay. Okay, then, um, last one. You have asked me, Lord, how long will it be before I can rest? I say to you that there is rest for you anytime, in any situation. That does not remove the circumstance. I know it has been a long road. From the beginning of time, my children have endured pain many times caused by their own actions. I love you, my child, and I will strengthen you and bring my peace above every circumstance. John fourteen twenty eight. This says N-A-S. That might be NASB, New American Standard. You heard that I said to you, I go away and I will come to you. Those are in single quotes. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I go to the Father for the Father is greater than I. Okay, let me repeat that. You heard that I said to you, I go away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I go to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. That was given the word was given to Jonas Bolin. Okay, and that's the end of that one. And I'm going to stop this video here. I plead the blood of Jesus over it. And over each and every one of us, our devices. And our internet connections. So we can stay connected until we're out of here. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.